Peterson Regional Medical Center is committed to providing our patients with exceptional, compassionate, patient-centered health care. For over six decades, the Peterson name has been synonymous with helping and healing in the Hill Country. Our staff is dedicated to patient care and patient outcomes, and our cardiac catheterization lab is exemplary of that commitment. Located on the first floor of the PRMC campus main hospital building, the Cardiac Catheterization Lab, or CATH Lab for short, provides medical procedures used to diagnose and treat potential heart ailments such as plaque buildup, intravascular blood pressure problems, and other conditions. Your doctor will prescribe procedures to investigate, diagnose, and prescribe treatments for these conditions. A heart cath is a procedure that takes place in a room similar to an operating room. Before the procedure begins, a number of steps are taken to prepare you. Upon first arriving at the hospital, you'll be greeted by one of our friendly staff members and you'll be escorted to the cath lab. A nurse will invite you into an office where he or she will explain the procedure in detail and answer any questions you may have. During this informal interview, you'll also be asked about any medications you may be taking, allergies, and other background medical information. Be sure to bring a list of your medications. Following the interview, you'll be assigned one of our patient rooms and you and your family can wait together until your procedure time arrives. While you wait, a cath lab nurse will arrive to check your vital signs and hook up your monitors. At this time, the nurse will clip the hair on your groin to minimize the chance of infection. He or she will also start an IV line to help keep you hydrated. You may receive some medication to help you relax. Just rest comfortably with your family until the nurses return to take you into the cath lab. You'll be rolled on a stretcher into the cath lab where you'll be greeted by a team of technologists that will perform your catheterization. You will have a nurse who will monitor your vital signs and keep you comfortable during the procedure. In an adjacent room, a technologist will look on through the windows and will operate the x-ray machines. Another technologist will operate the medical equipment and assist your doctor with the procedure. Finally, of course, your doctor will arrive to perform the actual catheterization. Instead of general anesthesia, a local anesthetic will be applied to prevent pain. You may be given some additional medication to help you relax. Some patients fall asleep, while others remain awake for the entire procedure, but you will not feel any pain, only pressure. If you do experience any pain at all, please alert your medical team so that it can be corrected. When all of the preparations are in place, the doctor will begin the procedure by inserting a catheter near the groin and into the femoral artery. This very small tube will be threaded through this artery into your heart, where the doctor will then insert a special dye, or contrast, to help them diagnose any potential problems. This contrast helps the doctor analyze what's going on inside your heart to see how the blood is moving. When the necessary procedures are complete, the catheter is removed. Firm pressure will be applied to the puncture site for several minutes to prevent bleeding. During the entire procedure, as well as for several hours following, you should not attempt to move or sit up. Just relax and allow the medical professionals to get you back onto the bed and into your room. Any movements can cause bleeding from the puncture site. After your procedure, you'll be returned to your room where your friends or family will be waiting. The nurse will bring you something to drink and order you something to eat when appropriate. A few hours after the procedure, you'll be asked to sit up and to walk around. Soon, you can safely leave the hospital under the supervision of your family. You should not drive until your medical professionals advise you that it is safe to do so, usually 24 hours after the procedure. Once home, keep an eye on the puncture site to make sure there is no bleeding, discoloration, or discomfort in the area of the wound. If you notice any of these symptoms, please contact your doctor's office immediately. Again, Peterson Regional Medical Center places your well-being as our most important goal. Our professional and courteous staff will be here to guide you through your entire procedure and are there to answer any questions you may have. Thank you for choosing Peterson Regional Medical Center for your health care needs.